Hi, I'm Mr. Hall and I'm the assistant principal here at Fairless High School. I'm going to address some of the changes that we need to make due to observing all of the um, protocols for safety and wellness and the times that we are experiencing right now. Let's go take a look at some of those things. Okay. A couple of things that are uh, changes for this year due to you know, what we're all experiencing. Masks have to be worn at all times in the building, uh, especially during transitions. In classes, we will be giving uh, some mask breaks where it's appropriate, and the teachers will talk about that in their classes when you guys come back to the building. So masks have to be worn. Uh, it's a non-negotiable, right? That's the, it's one of the, the ways we can safely try to protect each other, and that's what we're doing. Um, in that same spirit, no lockers will be assigned this year, so you will be permitted to carry your backpacks. Um, inside those backpacks will be everything that you need to learn. Uh, our cell phone policy is still the same as it was before. Uh, they have to be powered off, put in your backpacks, or you can be secured in your uh, pockets on, on your person because you will not have a locker to put it into. Um, so that's still in play there. Um, classroom settings will be set up so that we can socially distance safely. Um, your teachers will talk to you a little bit more about that in the classrooms. But for the most part, you will be facing the same direction. You will have assigned seats. Uh, you'll have to follow the protocol so we can stay safe. And inside those classrooms, your teachers are probably going to put you in the subgroups, which will help us with sanitizing uh, the surfaces and also with transitions from bell to bell. I'll talk a little bit about that here so we understand how that's going to look. Uh, we used to have three minutes between classes. We extended that to eight minutes. Uh, the first four minutes of those eight minutes, Kids will be let out of every class in equal amounts. So if you are in a class that has 20 kids, five kids will be let out during that first minute, and then another five the second minute, another five the third, another five the fourth until the class is empty. In that fashion, we'll be moving using that uh, the directional uh, pieces that I'll show you later with the hallway tour. Uh, and we'll also be able to stay socially distanced, having kids exit classes, having kids enter classes, um, in that fashion and then the extra time that's built in for the eight minutes so the other back in it at four minutes the time for you guys to be able to use the restroom if you have to and I have to stress this you have to wash your hands for 20 seconds okay so make sure after you use the, the restroom that you do get good at sinks wash your hands for 20 seconds uh, before you uh, you know walk, walk away from the sink of course dry your hands and then head on to your class um, the bathrooms will have some order to them because they have to in some of the bathrooms. Uh, some of the sinks may have to be shut down. Some of the stalls may have to be shut down to provide safe social distancing. But we're making that time accommodation with eight minutes in between. We feel like that's going to be enough for us uh, to get everybody in there safely and to get everybody in there to follow those protocols. Um, as far as uh, your supplies, uh, the same supplies that you were provided with last year uh, by our associations, uh, those will still be there for you. Uh, we will not share supplies and anything that we use that is shared in class, like say for example, a pair of scissors will be sanitized. Um, you will all be a part of sanitizing desktops. So you, part of your responsibility is to get yourself to your class with all of your stuff, uh, to sit down and do all the things right to keep everybody safe. Uh, not necessarily sit down, but you know what I mean. Um, following your activity free class. Uh, to help with the sanitation piece. And again, the teachers will talk to you about that a little bit more once you get in class. And then the transition to the next class safely. I'm going to take you on a little bit of a tour so you can see how those transitions are going to work now. Okay. Hey, good morning, kids. Uh, when you arrive to school in the morning, these doors will all be propped open. You know, this is the only one's propped open right now while you're here. You'll come in. These doors here, of course, will also be open. We're going to use this one since it's propped open now. And as you come in, you're going to have to make a couple of decisions uh, before you get into the door. If you are a choir kid, you will take these steps and go right to the auditorium because you are going to be the only kids who go against the flow of our uh, one-way hallways just for that time. But if you are not a choir kid, you're going to go up the steps, either side, it doesn't matter. And you're either going to head down this hallway to your first period class, okay, and we'll talk about that pathway in a little bit, or you're going to head this way to get breakfast before you go to first period class. So let's talk about breakfast as we're walking this way. 
You'll see in the hallway that we have bright yellow signs to tell you which side of the hallway you need to be on. Uh, the arrows here are pointing to the left, so you're going to stay to the left. If you're getting breakfast, you'll enter into the cafeteria. Thank okay, through these doors and you'll wrap around. You'll see X's on the floor. That's the case we have to wait. Tables are set up. I'll explain to you about that here in a minute. So we'll hug the glass wall. We'll also do this for lunch if you are buying a lunch. And we will enter into this door here, go through, buy your lunch come out through the blue doors that are there. And as you can see in the room, if you kind of pan the, uh, the expanse of the uh, lunchroom, let me get these lights on here. The tables are set up so that you have four chairs that are gonna stay in those spots. Our rounds have three spots that are marked with an X and we'll get a shot of that here in a moment. We're gonna ask you to sit in the same spot every time you come in here, whether it be breakfast or whether it be lunch. We'll talk about those reasons another time, but you will be somewhat assigned a seat, if you will. So that's where that's going to be at. And there'll be an order to this. Um, waiting for food, we have X's clearly marked on the floors that are six feet apart. Uh, so you're gonna have plenty of space and we have approximately 20 to 25 of those X's. There are some on the other side, but that will not be for breakfast. So this is still arrival time. So I'll come back here and talk to you about uh, lunch when we get here. After you're done with breakfast, you throw away your trash, you clean up your area, you out these doors, you follow the arrows, and now it's kind of like you're in Britain. Okay? You are now on the left-hand side and you will follow the arrows. So we'll stay down this hallway, hugging the wall that's closest to the main office. Just as you get past the main office, you continue to hug the wall to the left. And this is when you start to venture down in your schedule. So let's head down this way. If you are going to the basement, we're going to ask you to stay to the inside of this. If you're heading to C Wing, which is where the majority of our classes are at, we're going to ask you to stay to the right hand side. I'm sorry, left hand side. Come to our first directional sign. It has two directions. If your first period class is downstairs, you'll follow the arrows and head downstairs, and we'll talk about that path after we come back to the Sea Wing um, travels. If you are going to Sea Wing, meaning that you have a class from 101 to 113 or 201 to 216, you'll just follow these arrows. Okay. There are arrows on the floor that are marked to remind you we have signs and bright yellow paper so we can see it. As you walk down this hallway here, we're going to ask you to stay in the middle. Okay, and that's why the arrows are in the middle here. That is in case we do have some classrooms where kids are waiting to get in because not enough kids have left just yet and so forth. So we'll use the locker space as a, as a waiting space. That really shouldn't be a problem. Our uh, enrollments in our classes have gotten down to around the 20s or less for most classes, so we feel pretty good about that. Okay. As we walk down the hall, this is one way now. One way traffic. These are all of our science classes here. We have a, a physics lab, we have a physical science lab, a biology lab is up here. And I know that you'll get this with Dr. Chambliss' orientation video, freshman, but you know, our people who are veterans, just a reminder, that'll be our new Spanish teacher. So are y'all still here? And these two are just general classrooms, as is this one. So when you get to the end of the hall, these steps are only up. We can be on either side of the steps. We're heading on up. Masks on, of course. Backpacks on your back. All the way through these transitions. 
And as you get to the top of the stairs, the only way direction to go is to the left, and just like downstairs, we want to make sure that we stay in the middle here. So we will head down. Uh, these are all of our 200s. Yeah, most of your math is up here. Uh, a lot of your ELA is up here. A lot of your social studies is up here. Um, do you have a business teacher that has a classroom down here? But this is predominantly uh, populated by core teachers. And then we have our uh, special ed teachers, they have their classrooms here as well. Now, there are laboratories uh, located in the C Wing at both ends of these hallways. There's just one's up here and there's one downstairs. There will be some adjustments with sinks and possibly some of the stalls that we'll have to use just to get the social distancing space. Talk about that a little later. Now we're down to the down steps only. And as you get to the bottom of the steps, if you have PE, you'll enter through that door, that set door is also exit through it. As you get down here, you have to decide where your next class is going to be. So if you are still in C Wing, you just loop through this exit. So it's like a big old oval, kind of like a track. But if you are going to the cafeteria, if you're going to the basement, main office, Miss Courtney's room, then we have to follow along this area here. So once we get to this, if you have a class in the 300s, that would be Miss Jones, Miss Holland, Miss Sabella. Miss um, Barkin, Mr. Smith, and Ms. Brunkart. If you have any of those, you'll be heading down this way. If not, you're heading straight down this other side, heading right back to possibly cafeteria, main office, Ms. Courtney, uh, those places that are down in that L wing where the cafeteria is at. But let's take the loop downstairs so we can see how this looks. These are down steps only. And you really don't have a choice but to follow along because that's a dead end. So we'll walk right around the resting room here. Pass all of our broadcasting. This is Miss Jones' classroom, her area here. And as we get to this area here, this hallway, we'll shoot straight down to this. Walk past the locker rooms. And as you get to these stairs, if you're going back up to C Wing, or you're going to the means first floor, second floor, you head this way. If you have art, home ec, band required, you can go this way. This would be our, our locations. Let's talk about that loop here. Choir kids will go down here because the vocal room is down there on the left. When you leave the vocal room, you go up the stairs uh, that are by the gym, and you'll come out and be in that one-way flow. Art, home ec, band, all this way. We're going to walk this way so you can see this. Make sure you stretch your hands. Come this way. There's a band. Home ec, we passed art back there, so I missed that. And then these stairs we normally don't use, but we're going to be allowed to use them this year. These are the stairs that lead up towards pro, through our, our board office and by our auditorium. So come on up. These are up only. And this, uh, this hallway is generally not used during the school year ever, but we'll be able to use it. This is for our art, home ec, and band kids only. So we'll head down this way. And then we are back into our one-way traffic flow. Kids will be coming from those stairs. Some kids will be coming from this hallway. And we're walking through here. Our choir kids will be coming from these stairways here. And we join in the flow. And once we get to this juncture, the main juncture, it all starts over again, depending on where you're going for class. So if you have a class down in C Wing, you hang left that way. We have a class down in this corner here. You have to go to the cafeteria. You'll go that way. A couple things I want to point out to you. You can see that the, the tables have four chairs. So students will be able to sit on the ends and the middles. And as I mentioned a little bit earlier, 
um, and ask you to stay in the same spot throughout your, your lunch periods. Um, and the rounds, there are three seats that are marked. Take a look here at the seat, there's a spot there for you know, this one in particular. Talk to you about the seating arrangements and how things are with the tables and how they are with the rounds. We talked about the waiting in line and wrapping around this wall to get to that serving line before if you were buying a lunch here. So that is what most of us are going to be doing if we are buying lunch. Now, if you were somebody who packs like I do, you're going to be able to use this line over here to go through and buy a drink. So you don't have to wait in line. So we will utilize both lines during lunch. But during breakfast, only that line will be used. Okay. Regardless of whether it's breakfast or lunch, you get done eating, throw away your trash, clean up your area, your trash cans placed around strategically, so you have plenty of opportunities. But you must exit through these doors, and you cannot go through those doors. So if you're going to go to the restroom, for example, you're going to walk up through here. But if you go to the restroom, they're located down by our auditorium, and then you'll be able to swing right back around again and come back through those entrance doors to get back to your seat. Um, it may seem a little bit, let's say, elementary-ish, like kind of how you may have done, uh, you know, across the street a few years back. But we have to do these things in, in this type of fashion to keep everybody safe. When you sit down to eat, of course, you do this as if I'm sitting down to eat. This can come off because um, you can't eat with it on. So you eat your meal. You're done eating your meal. You need to throw away your trash. You go use the restroom, back on again. Take your trash to the trash receptacle, exit if you have to, you know, you can check in with one of the monitors, you exit if you have to, you go to the restroom and then when you come back in, you sit right back down where you were at until it's time to move to the next transition. We are working on uh, some pieces to where we can maybe get further mass breaks, mass breaks, excuse me. Um, and how we're going to do that just yet. We haven't worked out all the details, but we're getting there. Um, so I'll let you know about that as we come together next week. Um, but our lunchroom has fantastic food. We have great people back there to take care of our kids. Um, we want this to be a safe, enjoyable time for our kids, okay, and for everybody. We're ending up back where we started here in my office. And I just want to let you all know that uh, I'm very excited about the school year. I'm very excited to meet all of you and see all of you uh, next Thursday. Um, if you have any questions about anything that we covered in the videos, just give the main office a call. See ya. Have a great rest of your summer. And see you next Thursday.